Hello my shining stars and welcome back to my channel and yes I know I have some explaining to do yes as you guys saw I was gone for a while uh, without notifying you guys and I do apologize for that life got really rough for a while I know the last thing I posted I did put a post out saying that I was out of town and that videos were coming back next week and then I just never posted. I'm sure you guys was probably like, where did this girl go? Did she get lost on her way back home? No, that's not it. So, I'm just gonna keep this as short and sweet as possible because I know you guys are ready to get into the video. But yeah, so thing is, I have started a new job and then I quit that new job to start another job because I actually really, really, really disliked it. Yeah, I spent three months. Well, technically I spent only one month at the job and I quit. But before that, I spent two months preparing for this job and it took so much out of me. Then when I actually started a job, it just was extremely stressful for me. Like, it just took up so much of my time. I couldn't even record because I had to completely unplug my computer that I was working on and I had nowhere else to plug it up. So I couldn't record or edit. I was normally use my laptop to edit, but my laptop was very, very slow. And then on top of that, it wasn't unable to it was unable to support my editor that I use. So I couldn't even edit for a while. It sucked because I did have a lot of videos lined up uh, that just needed editing and I never got to do that. So I am not gonna lie, when I was on this job, it stressed me out so much. I started having serious anxiety, was just constantly crying and breaking down. I couldn't do anything and then I just felt like such a failure with YouTube because I couldn't even get back to it and I really really want to get back on YouTube but I just felt I couldn't I didn't have time and I wasn't in the right mental state so I had to quit especially because it was affecting my health so I started a new job which I like a lot better things have been easier for me and I am finally able to get back to you guys and I do apologize I did not let you guys know because I felt so ashamed I didn't even log in to um my YouTube channel because I just I guess I just felt so ashamed that I couldn't even get back onto it so but I appreciate you guys support you guys are still so sweet and was looking out for me asking where I was and like I said I apologize and I love that you guys are still watching my videos and I see so many of you guys have subscribed while I was gone so welcome all to new subscribers like last I checked what was that like 7,200 now we're like 8,900 I love you guys so much and I feel like I don't deserve you guys but anyways back to what we're getting ready to watch today <gasps> Miraculous is back now with season six though but with a new Miraculous world now Miraculous has been blowing up my Instagram uh mostly for say Miraculous has been blowing up my Instagram and nothing about season six it's just all merch <laughs> merchant products but i did see where they announced miraculous world london uh what's it called at what is this thing called i don't even know i don't know uh something to do with time travel i saw the teaser for it and it was enough to tell me what was going on which i do appreciate i do know yes yeah, we're gonna be in london we're gonna be time traveling we're gonna have bunnix back so, I guess we'll see what goes on from there. I don't even know, like, at what time line this takes place. Is this right after season five or is it before season five? I don't know. Normally, they're kind of just like 
all over the place with America's World. But we'll see. Now, I don't know, it feels like it's been like a year since I watched Miraculous, even though I know it hasn't been that long. But I don't remember that much. I'm thinking, should I have, should I refresh my memory? I'll be honest, I don't remember too much of season five, which I actually am kind of relieved because I tell you, I did not think I was going to survive season five. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all saw that put me through it. There was so much going on. I am terrified for season six. Now I saw this, I got excited. I was like, oh, I'm ready to get back into Miraculous. But then I saw the thumbnail entitled to I Am Xander's video, shout out to her. And that made me lose all my confidence. So the terror has come back. I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm trying to mentally prepare myself. So without further ado, let's get started with Miraculous World London. Oh my God. <gasps> That's it, I'm done. Well, that answered my question. So yeah, this is picking up right where Season five ended. This girl right here caused the biggest existential crisis I've ever had with any character. That's like actually probably the only thing I remember from season five because that scene of Lila or whatever taking off her wig broke me. You guys know, you saw the video. I will have not been okay since. Now it's like I trust no character. <laughs> Every time I learn something crazy about any character, I just have a breakdown because I remember this. We still don't even know her name. We don't know what she is, but she got all these Apple Watches. Is she a time traveler? Wait, or not? No, I don't know. And why is she blonde now? I thought she had a pixie cut. Is that a lace front? Where is she getting these wigs from? And how do I get one? <laughs> I need some explanation about this girl right here, bro. What? What is she? For a while, I was believing that she's a terrorist, and I, I'm genuinely thinking so. Ugh, y'all, I don't want to watch anymore. Miraculous. Come on, man. We just got started. It's only 30 seconds in. No, no. What's in the book? I thought we was not going to dabble back into this girl until we get to season six. Whoa, that was... Yo, the intro is different. I thought it was bugging at first. Oh, wow. So it's just, it shows Ladybug holding the miracle box, but she just looks sad and like in despair. And then you just see the miracle box disappear. No, Miraculous, you took too much of my sanity in that last season. I thought I got it back. No, no. By the way, I hope we get more Cat Noir because I was a little bit sad we did not get Cat Noir in the season finale. What? Oh shoot, yes! Oh my gosh, how did I almost forget? Gabriel is dead now. What? Now that I'm realizing this is a time travel episode, are they gonna bring him back? Oh man. I thought I was ready for this. But honestly, yo, that intro was giving sci-fi horror. Oh yeah! My bard captures your general! Empress in check. You're about to lose again, mini me. Come on! <laughs> this girl is playing chess with her older self. Why is that somehow a little iconic? But what is this chessboard you're playing as? Like, what's this chessboard you're playing with? And why is it in the shape of a pyramid? And how? And I'm both of you, but older. I've gone through everything you're going through, which means I know how angry this defeat is going to make you. What? What? Yo, I... I'm flabbergasted. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm trying to find words. Um, I was just about to say, why did her voice change? Now we have Grandma Bunnix here? So that... So is that telling me that Alex stayed Bunnix for the rest of her life? 
We're now at Alex age 15, zero wins. Alex age 25, zero wins. And Alex age 70, 12. Okay, so we don't adult Alex is 25. We know that now. And then 70? <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Then we, are we going to see adult Lady Bunk Cat Noir and Grandma and Grandpa Lady Bunk Cat Noir? Are we going to see that? Is it still them? We. I have so many questions. Looks like there won't be time. Yep, it just started. What just started? What's happening? Wow. The end, Mini Me. The end of time. What? Why are you talking so casually? Oh my goodness. The way you just say it so casually, like, oh, yep, we're all coming to an end. So the beginning's still the same. Marinette receives the miraculous of the ladybug. Adrian gets the miraculous of the cat. Okay, when I asked for a refresher, I didn't mean this far back. Yeah, fast forward all that. Time passes. A long time. <laughs> Us, Marinette and Adrian kiss. Yes! Finally. Gee. No, her saying finally. I love how she stopped to talk about that scene. I love that. Mrs. Sarugi, his ally, has done the same with her daughter, Kagami. Yo, for real, we need to talk about her. Because she was helping Gabriel. So why is she not receiving any consequences? What is she even doing now? There is nothing left. Nothing at all. Hey, what? Ugh, I scrolled too fast. I must have missed something. It's it's Lila. Whatever her name is. I'm just going to keep calling her Lila until I know her real name. Because turns out it ain't Charisse. So I'm guessing this is literally the same day. Marinette, make sure that Adrian never knows about the villain that I was. But instead that he remembers the times I tried to be a good father. Oh, this time, I remember this scene. Ever, we thank you. I love so much how they just assumed Cat Noir was not there. That's so messed up. No wonder Marinette's messed up. Look at all this junk she go through every day. Girl got trauma. I got trauma just watching this. Over, over, over. But Adrian cannot find out. You're blinded by love, Marinette. I forgot she knows that Ladybug's Marinette. Your mother, Kagami. She was Monarch's accomplice. Normally I should bring her to justice. I don't want to make you suffer. Adrian changed when he tried to confront his father, and I've changed since I met you. Everyone can change. My mother as well. I'll talk to her. Okay, well, that explains it. You see, Marinette looks so dead inside, man. After all this she just went through, I don't blame her. Uh, <laughs> My father's not here? What do you even tell him? Father was... <gasps> was... A hero. Your father was a hero. Oh, God. When I saw your lightning fly by, which means you defeated Monarch. I did face him in your home. He he had taken Natalie and your father hostage, and I fought as hard as I could, but he was too mighty, and that's when your father became a hero. <laughs> At the last minute, your father pounced on Monarch, seized the miraculous, and made a wish in his place. Oh my gosh. This boy whole world falling apart. Ugh. Why did you save him? And even if something had happened to him, aren't your magic ladybug supposed to repair everything? This is impossible. You have to be wrong. I swear I tried everything. I can't watch this no more. I can't. Um, I was wondering, I was like, how did he take the news where she came and told him, yeah, your dad died? They just skipped over that and found an episode. Now that I'm seeing it, I don't want to see it anymore. I don't know which one is harder for her to come and tell him that his dad died or to lie to him and say that your dad was a hero. <sighs> but thing is, imagine if she did tell him that he was monarch, Adrian would definitely not be okay. What happened to Miraculous? I remember when season one was just so sweet, so cute, you know, like, I could just sit back and watch. It was my comfort show. Now, I need a comfort show for this mess. If he hadn't locked me in here, I could have saved him. Believe me, no. there's nothing you could have done. Dad. No, don't. I hope he's not going to blame himself from now on. I wanted to be the one to say it before you found out some other way. Oh my goodness. I am so, so sorry, Adrian. Oh gosh. Marinette goes through too much. She had to be the one to witness all that happen, and then she had to be the one to break it to him. The man who went by Hawk Moth, Shadow Moth, and lastly Monarch, had forced Mr. Gabriel Agreste and Mrs. Sarugi to design the alliance. Oh gosh. Race. 
He planned to miraculize the- I'm trying so hard to hold back tears, partially because I do not have on waterproof mascara. This is insane. And then it hurts more that she has to lie to everyone saying that he was a hero when he surely was not. All the torture and pain that he caused. That is people had a nerve to make a statue of this man. Oh my god. Miraculous. Why? Ladybug, you defeated Monarch, which means you uncovered who he was beneath the mask, right? No. We'll never Ooh. know about his secret identity. But thanks to Gabriel Agreste's heroic sacrifice, we're finally free from Monarch. Dang, she gotta destroy the whole lair. Oh my gosh. But they are asking legit questions, but it's, she can't answer them. Bruce, she is... She is dead inside. Like, she is just nothing but an empty shell. You can say about a, the way she look and the way she talk. She is out of it. Two different types of moms. Oh. Dang, you ain't gonna hug your child? I wonder if, if, there's, if there's gonna be any redemption for Sarugi. I don't even know if I want redemption for her. I really don't. Oh yeah, on the bright side, she got all the Miraculouses in the Kwame's back, except for the one we know of. Uh, Miranda just need a nap. Just a nice, long nap. Yeah, girl, take the load off. You've been through it. But hey, like, I'm sure the truth has to come out at some point, but then... How would everybody react when they find out? Because then they are gonna hate Ladybug for lying. Stop thinking and get some rest. You probably need it. Yeah, you can see the backs under her eyes, but it's like... And you will need it. What do you mean by that, Tiki? See, I forgot what I was gonna say. What? What does she mean by that? I legit don't remember what I was gonna say. <gasps> Do that without the miraculous ring. My earrings. How? What is going on? I won't be any help without my miraculous. You don't have your earrings now, but you did once. Of course, you can't access the future anymore, but you can still go back in time. Yeah. Okay. What if we took her the miraculouses? Was it was it Lila, Sharice, whatever her name is, Iris? How did she get in the house? And when? I told you I'm not cut out to be Ladybug. They were going this far back? Sorry, Tiki. No, don't do that! Wow, we're way back to the origin. When are we? We're at a point in time where someone stole my miraculous. We need to figure out who, when, and how. Then I'll bring you back to the Marinette you just met. That is if i succeed i'm sure you will succeed so tiki herself knew this was gonna happen yeah. wait why is it yellow and white the girl is rocking the black and yellow look is that a ghost there's no such thing as ghosts bro this is like ant man and the wasp Oh my goodness. How? Yo, this girl is already 10 times smarter than Gabriel. It's literally only her first day out here being Hawk Moth. And look at how far she got. No, you stay here. What if the ghost managed to seize my miraculous and yours? Then things would really be over. Ooh. See, it's a good thing she gave um, the miraculous to her ahead of time. Or else, yeah, we've been in some serious trouble. Yo, her fit glows in the dark too? That's fire. So that means that... That means that she knew all the time that Marinette was Ladybug? Toodaloo. <laughs> wow. Maybe it's telling you to go back to a certain date. And someone who knows who I really am. The Wish. But what is the Wish? 
What kind of wish is she making? What is Lila's motive? Where did she come from? What is her real name? Does she have parents? Is she an orphan? Is she a terrorist? So many questions. The reason why this akumatized villain was able to steal the miraculous from me was because they knew my secret identity. How? I don't know. But then again, I don't know. So many people know her identity, so... Oh yeah, she was there! So she had to have seen! I forgot! I could retrieve the miraculous of the butterfly and everything would be back to normal. But it's too late. Like adult me would say, when you're trying to solve a problem, don't go and cause more problems. Why is time travel gotta be so complicated? Dang, that could be such a simple solution! That's how they found out who I am. Okay, I'm still confusing. So, I guess, well, yeah, all this happened, she just went back in time. All right, I guess. Spots and claws away. Oh, no. Let it roll. I need to figure out what they want. Oh, I can only imagine Lila being a fly on the wall to find that out. She already knew about Gabriel, though. Hey, yo, there's a zipline on her crossbow. Oh my gosh, that only is Laura Croft out here. Adrian isn't all alone, he has you. And you too. Uh. <laughs> oh, this hits so different now. Not actually seeing what will happen in between. Yeah, I don't know what is Marinette's IQ, but it's crazy. Yet she lacks common sense in a lot of things. Vena! Is she gonna find out it's Lila? No. Ladybug, Ladybug, she's come to save us all. It's all over, friends. You can stop being afraid. Natalie is on our side. <laughs> oh, this is when she found out about Adrian and Kagami. Bug? No, of course Will not. You? Never. I did hope I'd be able to tell him Dang, once come on! Defeated, we, 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 we. I love the silent fighting though. <laughs> it's so funny. But you can't tell him something only Ladybug is supposed to know. Oh my gosh, she still hurt it! Bro, you should jump in and put that girl in the headlock! Yes, accomplice? Yes, all along. Oh, okay, or that too. We got him! Nice little time traveling gadget you've got. Too bad it'll stop working soon and you'll have to uh, meet with us. Oh wait, no, that's not it. No! What was that? She left it in her hideout. Time to tell the truth. If you do that, you'll go to jail. Isn't the truth worth it? If you tell the truth, Adrian will have no one left. I don't want Natalie to go to jail. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, Natalie helped. So if anything, she needs to go to jail too. The only thing I can fix is the way Adrian will remember his father. But that would oh. be lying to him. The truth would hurt him so much more. Oh, gosh. And what? Nothing will repair what happened. Man, darn if you do, darn if you don't, bro. No matter what, everybody out here getting hurt. I'm guessing, I'm gonna go on a limb and guess that Adrian does find out everything at some point, and then that's when Cat Blanc comes back. They're here. Huh? I don't see anything. The light. When I enter the building, the light is already on. They're here, Bunnix. They were always here. What? Where? 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 Oh my goodness. Yo, this is a fire fight though. Oh, yo, this fight is clean. Dang it. By love, Marinette. Come on. Wow, what the timing. Oh, okay, girl, come through with the moves. Yes! The alcohol in the gel is dissolving the ink's pigment. Your forgery is top You notch. can do Good that? Job. That's a thing? I thought it was just soak the paper. Shut up, yo, this Looking girl is clean. 
missed me again. How how is nobody hearing this? So who did she write? <laughs> oh no no! Don't read it! Gabriel Agrest is Ladybug? That's not possible. Gabriel Agrest is dead. Why did I write that? Did something go wrong with my plan? No! <laughs> Yo, that's funny. <laughs> She showed that girl. I didn't expect that. I know it had to be something stupid. Why is this giving the equivalence of that one episode of SpongeBob when Mr. Krabs wrote that plankton was a secret ingredient? Don't do it! Plankton? I warned you. Are you okay? What does she do and how does she do it? What, she froze Nuru? It's so crazy how it seems like whoever the holders have so much power over the Kwamis. But the thing is, we never see like Marinette or Adrian do absolutely anything to Plague and Tiki, which of course, because they're not evil, but it's like every time it's always something new. And it's just crazy to me. Like how it's just so easy to just enslave the Kwamis like that. Like, always just take a snap of fingers and then just immediately just shut them up or something. You just So she didn't find out it was Lila. I know you can't tell me about the future so we don't mess up the course of history and all, but can you at least tell me if I was right to hide the truth from Adrian about his father? She's not going to tell her. Lying to him or telling him the truth will lead to very different consequences. Either way, it's going to be consequences. <laughs> Obviously something major just happened, but I feel like we're missing some information and I can't make sense of it all. I know. Now I see what Tiki was talking about. Okay. The new Hawk Moth is even more fearsome than the former one. But this time, mm. they'll have to face an entire team. Does this mean... That's why she gave them to everybody else. But I thought it was dangerous to leave us with our holders. I was wrong. The real danger is having you all here together. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it was dangerous with them being with their owners because Gabriel knew who they all were. Dang, Cat Noir, I feel like we ain't seen you in forever. Well done, lady. We've... I mean, you have... I forgot. Oh, does she already told him at this point? Oh, I forgot she told him already. Oh, gosh, I can't do this. Cat Noir, do you know what it's like to go so far, almost too far, in order to protect someone you love? You mean like sacrificing oneself? More like, say, keeping a huge secret. She better not tell him. She better not tell him. A secret so heavy that you really want to share it right this minute. Girl, shut up. Girl, shut up. Shut up. Girl, shut up. I should have been there. I'm so sorry. Okay. Let go of the butterfly miraculous. We'll get it back again. You and me. Like old times. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, <laughs> this is so sweet. Yo, I had a mini heart attack. I thought she was about to tell him. Nuru, dark wings rise. No, I want to see. We'll see who finds who first. Oh, this is her new dad. Dang, okay, nice little sneak peek of season six. Oh, snap! Well, that was Miraculous World Monday. Wow, okay, oh, we didn't even spend that much time in London <laughs> to really be called that, but um, I guess we need to be called something. We already have Miraculous World Paris. So, wow, what? I didn't expect it to take place like during the finale of season five, but I feel like I should have. So that was, that was actually, it was pretty good. It was really interesting. Um, I like that they gave us what happened in between that last episode from after she defeated uh, Gabriel to where things are now. I do like that. <sighs> okay. So, apparently, Lila, Charisse, Iris, Alexa, whatever her name is, 
she did find out that Marinette was Ladybug. But now, Ladybug has fixed that, so now she doesn't know anymore. But I'm stressed for her, cause it's like, in that situation, what do you do? Do you, you lie to protect Adrian? Lie to everyone to protect Adrian or tell the truth and hurt Adrian? Oh gosh. Because either way, it was going to hurt him, but it would hurt him even more if he did find out that not only Gabriel, but Natalie were the ones terrorizing everybody. And I know it's sure it's going to come out. It's definitely going to come out. And there's the fact Lila knows. She knows everything. Because remember that episode where she snuck in and got all the um, information about Gabriel and them, that's got to come back at some point. And I'm already well aware that Catwoman is going to come back and I'm not ready for it. But it has to have something to do with this. It has to tie into this. I'm stressed for poor Marinette. She has to carry this burden by herself. Well, at least she does have Natalie. But still, it's so much for her. So yeah, she had Natalie and then she also has Alex, which she can't necessarily see on a regular basis, but at least she had a couple of people to confide. Dang, that's such a huge secret. Then in the fact that she, I know it sucked that she had to lie and I know she didn't want to tell everybody that Gabriel was a hero. Cause I know she got some bitterness. <laughs> And it's the fact that Kyle made a statue in his honor. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, 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 sir. That's not what's happening. <sighs> yeah, poor Asian. That scene hurt so much. I was trying really hard to hold back to you. I felt like I did a good job. I didn't shed a tear this time. I almost did. I came very, very close. But yeah, that hurt so much. Seeing where she had to break the news to Adrian. And see him get upset at her for not saving his dad. But it's the fact that he don't know, y'all. He don't know. He don't know. I am dreading the episode where he finds out. But yeah, anyways, we are really in for... We're really in for some trouble with um, the new Hawk Moth, which I heard Lila's name is going to be Chrysalis. Not 100% sure if that's true, but that's what I heard. Oh, dang, I want to see what she looks like. I saw a picture somewhere. I don't even, I'm not even sure if it's official. But so far, she looks cool. Dang, and I like how they showed the little sneak peek of Marinette and her new outfit. I remember they did leak that she's going to have a new fit. And so far, it's cute. And maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like, in a way, it's kind of similar to the Marinette from the um, Paris World Special, just less gaudy. It just, it looks a little bit similar to it, in my opinion. As stressed and anxious as I am, I am also very excited to see where season six takes us. Whenever that comes out, they haven't announced anything for season six, but now I see why, because they were too busy making this and a lot of merch and i don't know if you guys heard but they got another game coming out i'm surprised i didn't think they'll make another one uh what did you guys think of the last game honestly it could have been better but i feel like it's more fun if you're playing two player because when i played it by myself i'm like ugh, i'm not enjoying this game <laughs> it felt so long to get through these stages man but then I went and played it with my younger cousin. Um, she was like 12, but she was like 11 at the time. And we actually had a blast playing it together. So I feel like 
it's more fun to play with a second person, especially because you'll have both Ladybug and Cat Noir present at the same time, and you get to hear their banter throughout the game. And it's also it's easier to get through the stages because they were so long. Uh, I just hope that they improve the graphics, fix all the bugs, because we were tired of falling through the map. And do something about those loading screens, because those loading screens were horrible. It was getting Sonic 6. Anyways, completely irrelevant to what we're talking about. Yeah, I can't wait to see where Season 6 takes us. And I'm excited. We're going to see all of our other heroes again. Can't wait to see what's going on with them, where they've been at. And also, I know Season 6 is going to be so different because I think they're going to be at a new school. And on top of that, of course, we got our new villain now. I'm curious how Lila, Cherise, whatever her name is, is going to play things out throughout the rest of the season because she did play things very, very smart in just this one special. Like I said, it was only her first day out here, man. And she was killing it. So, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're in for a wild ride. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And by the way, um, I got something coming soon. A new reaction to something for Spooky Month. I'm not going to tell you, but you guys are just going to have to wait and see. So feel free to like that. So feel free to click that like button, leave your comments, and like I said, thank you guys so much for your support and still being here while I was gone. Uh, I, like I said, I was just going through a really rough patch and I just had a tough time trying to come back. I, def I definitely had a plan to come back, but I was just, just trying to figure out how to get my life together in order to come back. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!